Hello, Titans. It is that time of year again when we begin to think about and choose courses to take in the new school year. During this informational video, we will discuss the course selection process, how to complete a course request form, and input your course selections online. With this in mind, you have been provided a course request form, also known as CRF, for your specific grade level, detailed instructions, and your transcript. The course request process has two parts. One, complete a course request form along with the required signatures from you, a parent, and your teachers. Two, input your requested courses through the registration link provided in your instructions. Both steps are necessary to ensure that your requests are understood and appropriate. You must make 15 selections total to account for the entire school year. Your 15 selections can include off-roll. If you look at the first example, one off-roll in Try 1 is one selection. Requesting only Draw and Paint 1 is also one selection. When requesting one year of a science, such as Biology 1 and 2, would be an example of two selections. It is also possible to request a course sequence that runs three terms, or three trimesters. For example, choosing to take Spanish 1, 2, and 3 would equal three selections. Once your 15 selections have been made on the CRF, you are now ready to enter them online. Be sure to enter the course number exactly as listed on the CRF. Do not search by course title. Doing so may result in requesting a course at another high school. Also, please be aware if you enter less than 15 selections, the system will be forced to choose the remainder of your classes. In front of you now is a snapshot portion of a CRF. The CRF form is divided by subject area according to A to G requirements. Remember, A to G requirements are required by the CSU or UC to be eligible for admissions. The CRF was formatted this way to help students easily understand what courses meet which subject requirement. Please note, course sequences that are two or three terms will have a notation at the end of the title. For example, Integrative Math 2A, 2B has the parentheses with the notation 2T equals two trimesters. This signifies it is a course selection that will be completed in two trimesters. Consequently, it will also have two corresponding course numbers. A three-term sequence such as College Algebra 1, 2, and Trigonometry will have the parentheses with the notation 3T equals three trimesters. As a result, there will be three corresponding course numbers. Here is an example of how to complete your CRF. As you can see, this student has selected U.S. History 1, 2, and they indicated 2 under the column to keep track of their selections. APEL is a three-term course, so they listed a 3 to the right of the subject area. You can see that this student has already made seven selections, so they have eight more selections to choose. Once you have tallied all of your selections on the front and the back of your CRF, it will need to equal to 15 selections. Now we will be going over electives and alternates. Depending on your courses, you may have one, two, three, or possibly no electives to select. If you are selecting electives, you must choose alternates. You will indicate alternates by circling them and writing one for your first choice, two for your second choice, and three for your third choice. As you can see, this student selected Drama 4 for their first choice, Ceramics 3 for their second choice, and Digital Media Productions 4 for their third choice. Notice that if the student wants to take Drama 4, they will need to choose the number for Drama 4. You will need to tally up only what is a part of your 15 selections. You can see that this student has room for only one selection. Also, be aware that you need to take electives in sequential order. An example of this would be to take Drama 1 before Drama 2. If you forget to select alternates, the system will select alternates for you that work within your schedule. 
I would like to take a minute to highlight that electives and off-roll preferences cannot be granted. The system programs academic courses as the first priority when scheduling you into classes. Titans, completing your CRF correctly is very important to make sure that you create the best schedule possible. This means you must read and follow directions carefully. Building a solid schedule is a team process that requires collaboration with your teachers and parents. If you are planning on taking AP or honors classes, you need a teacher recommendation. This is to ensure that you are prepared and will be successful in those courses. AP classes also require that you complete an AP agreement. Right now you are requesting classes for all of next year. A spot is created in the classes you indicate. Once the master schedule is built, making changes is very difficult and often impossible. So please consider your selections carefully. To help you with the process, we have many resources on our website. The course catalog has course descriptions for all classes. There are sample for your plans to help you create a roadmap, and you can review A to G and graduation requirements online as well. February 12th and 13th are teacher signature days. Many teachers will ask you to take out your CRF so that they can provide you with a recommendation. Keep in mind that your current teachers know your strengths and can provide excellent recommendations for next level in subject areas. After CRFs are turned in, you will meet with your counselor one-on-one -on -one for an audit meeting to go over class selections. At this time, you can make changes to your courses if needed. We want you to build a schedule that will allow you to be happy, healthy, and successful in and out of the classroom. A full class load is four classes per trimester. You can choose to take four or five classes each trimester and can have one off roll per trimester depending on your goals and courses selected. The key is to have balance. As you select classes, keep in mind your strengths and all your activities and commitments outside of class, including sports, work, helping take care of siblings, church, and anything that takes a significant amount of time. There are two important information dates we want to share with you. AP European Civilization is the first AP course most Titans take. Rising Sophomores, if you are interested in this great class, on February 15th, you should attend the info session in K1. Students interested in engineering courses, the Pathway, or the Academy can learn more about this great program on February 13th at 7 p.m. in room N3107. Titans, take out a pencil and write this important date on the top of your CRF. Friday, February 16th. Yes, Friday, February 16th, your completed CRF is due to your homeroom teacher with all signatures. That is step one. Step two, which also needs to be completed by February 16th, is entering all your courses online. Please be sure to complete both of these important steps. In addition to your 15 selections, students have the option to take online courses through the PUSD Virtual School. Most of these courses are run on a trimester schedule. Please note, courses with an asterisk require a mandatory lab once a week on Mondays from 4 to 6 p.m. This opportunity is open to all high school students in the district. Therefore, limited space is available and not all students get into the course selected. It is also important to be aware that course offerings are scheduled to change based on funding. If you are interested in requesting an online course, please refer to the specific section on your CRF to do so. If you are selected for a course, you will receive a notification at the end of the school year. Each of you received a copy of your transcript. Please take a moment to review it at this time and check that everything looks accurate. If you see any errors or have questions, please see your counselor. Take a look at the credit summary box which highlights the graduation requirements by subject area. Moving from the left, the first column is required. You can see that it has all the credits required to graduate and 230 credits at the bottom. This column will be the same for all students. The next column from the left is the completed column. This shows all of the courses you've completed with total credits earned at the bottom of the column. The next column from the left is work in progress. This shows all of your courses you are currently enrolled in and the last column is needed showing if you have any additional courses you still need to complete for graduation. If this is the case for you, please contact your counselor to ensure you have a credit recovery plan in place. For most students, 
as long as you are completing a minimum of four classes a trimester or 12 classes a year, you will most likely be on track. However, if you are uncertain about this, we recommend meeting with your counselor. This is your Poway High School counseling team. Please reference the alpha breakdown for your assigned counselor by last name. We are available at break, lunch, or after school to meet with you. Another great way to contact your counselor is sending an email. You can access this email address through the Poway High School website. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. We want to ensure a successful CRF process for all students. Thank you for your attention during this presentation and good luck, Titans.